what's up everyone welcome to my shop my stash video for april we're going to go ahead and talk about the products i pulled for march then we'll start picking out some products for april so let's get started i'm going to make this really fast pretty much majority of the products were mac products so let's talk about the eyeshadow palettes really fast i picked out the burgundy times nine kind of messy but i really enjoy using this for making quick looks and i love this shade right here so i use this today um i really like this palette that i use from the bubbles and bows collection i like the formula for this palette and then let's see i use let's just let's just say i pretty much like every product i use okay we're just gonna get straight to the point uh mac collection from the, the aladdin collection love this uh this is the what was this this is the next to nothing bronzing powder i love the formula really creamy enjoyed that um these this soft and gentle love this one just looks really beautiful on the skin very luminous uh, medium golden mineralized skin finish powder i love using this for setting my face really enjoyed it um the blushes that i used I loved all these blushes. This is the newer one from uh, Richard, the Richard Quinn collection. This is matte, but I really love the shade of this. But these just gave you the most luminous, radiant look. This is Blush Please. It's a Glow Play blush, and this is a mineral. This is a mineralized blush in gentle. I just these are probably my favorite. I love these blushes. Um, I didn't get a chance to use this single slow flip. Maybe I used it once. I think I might have used it once. This is a slow, fast, slow single. I want to keep this in. Use this bubbles and bows. Don't burst my bubbly quite often. So I'm gonna put this back. Um, lipstick I might have used a couple of times. This is the uh Sakura season. And there was another one that I used today. I don't know where I don't know where it is. I don't know where I put it. So that I'm gonna keep in. Um, once I find it. Concealers and foundation. This was the studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer i like this a lot i use this under my eye and on my face because the foundations were kind of dark so i use these concealers for highlighting and brightening and i like the formula they barely barely crease and it's really creamy so i really enjoy these concealers and the foundations which were studio sculpt and the studio fix fluid all right so there's stuff that i usually keep in um Oh, and then the hourglass powder I have in here. I enjoy the hourglass powder. It's like one of my favorites. I do like hourglass um, products. Um, and all the other stuff I usually keep in all the time, like my powders, certain mascaras, uh, this foundation stick I keep in all the time, the hourglass foundation stick, my brown pencils by Anastasia. I always keep that in. This this one I like. This is the Honest uh, Brow Gel. I got this from Marshalls, I believe. So I'm going to keep that stuff in. Um, what was this? There was, oh, this mascara by MAC. It was in Extreme Dimension 3D Black. I like this mascara, but it can get slightly messy. But I do like how it looks. I have to be really careful. Maybe because it's a smaller mascara, that could be it. But I did enjoy this. I'm going to keep this in as well. Let's pick products for April. All right, so for foundation, I do have a Bobbi Brown primer that I'm keeping in as well. I forgot to mention that. So foundation, think, let's, I'm going to use this NARS. Hmm, I actually want to use this Clinique concealer. I'm going to put this concealer in. The Even Better Concealer. Haven't used that in a while. Um... I kind of want to use this, I want to try the Smashbox one, Studio Skin, 24 hour. And I kind of want to use the NARS too. So maybe I'll pull in, should I pull in both? Yeah, I'm going to pull both of these in. Yeah, this I need to put back. This is a Tarte concealer. I think that's it for now. Yes, that's going to be it for now. And I'm going to keep the Hourglass powder in as well. Do I want to pour in another powder? Let me use this Kosas powder. I'm going to try this Kosas powder and keep the hourglass powder in. I'm putting back that mineralized powder for MAC. So for blushes, I kind of have an idea what I want to pull for blushes. 
I'm going to pull this one because, you know, it's spring. So why not? Kaleidos um, Blush, what is this called? Ecstasy. So I'm going to pull that. Um, I want to pull... One of these cover FX blushes, which would be put my where is it at? soft peach. Pull this and I'm gonna pull the palette out. So I think that's all for now for blushes. For bronzer, I want to pull bronzer. I'm gonna pull. This one from Clinique, really pretty. And I'm going to pull this one, which I have not used yet. Right too faced. And you know what? Let's also grab a bronzer from this area, from this area right here. I'm gonna do the Forever Natural Bronze by Dior in the shade five. The face palette, I really want to use this Too Faced Natural Face Palette. As soon as you open this up, you can just smell it. It smells so sweet. I really like this palette, so let me pull this. Um, For highlighter, I'm going to grab one from over here. As you can see, I used up pretty much that Max Fix Plus spray. So I have another I'm going to pull for... for um, for my sprays and I'm going to continue using my Charlotte Tilbury. I forgot to mention that. But for highlighter, I want to pull this one from Pat McGrath. Highlight in Lunar Nude. Right, eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to go ahead and pull Tiny Marvels. Let's see. Let's see. This one from Natasha Denona. Mini Retro. And this one, Novu Palette by Anastasia. I think I want to pull another one. I don't know if I want to pull this one, the Norvina or the Cardi Bottle. Let's pull. Let's pull the Carly Bible one. Back to the swatches. Now that lipstick I mentioned before, where is, wait, where did it go? I literally had it earlier. Oh, oh, here it is. I lost it again. So it was Love You Back. I'm going to keep this in. I really like the shade. So I'm going to keep this in. I like to pair it with, sorry, I like to pair it with this lip gloss. This lip gloss by Wayne Goss. And this is Tulip really pretty together it gives you that like really light not a concealer look on the lips but somewhat of a concealer look but it doesn't look bad so I, i've been really enjoying that and then i'm gonna go ahead and pull well you know what let's keep let's keep this in i'm gonna keep this lipstick in no we're not we're gonna put it back instead Instead, I'm going to pull this lipstick by Pat McGrath, Her Majesty. And here's how that looks. And here's how that lipstick looks. All right, guys. So here are the swatches. Excuse my ashiness, if you can see that. So the first one is at the bottom, starting from the bottom. That's the Clinique bronzer. And the second one is the Too Faced. The third one is the Dior. That's that. All right, for blushes, the first one is the, that's the, the sweet peach one. No, sorry. The first one is soft peach, really pretty. I mixed the two shades together. And the second one is this Kaleidos one. It's a nice bright pinky, pinky blush. The packaging is really pretty. Here's that Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath highlighter, the third one, all the way to the right, the third one, that's the highlighter. Let's get into the palettes. And here is the Too Faced palette. So 
as you can see, highlighter, blush, bronzer, highlighter, blush, bronzer. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, I swatched Tiny Marvels. This is Tiny Marvels and Retro. The left right here, that's Retro, a few shades, and then these are a few shades from the Tiny Marvels palette. Really beautiful. I can't wait to use the Tiny Marvels palette. It's gorgeous. I actually been using the Retro palette. I really like that one too. And here at the bottom, this is um, Anastasia Nobu palette. Really pretty, as you can see, that's that. Cannot wait to use this. Again, those are the swatches for the palette. I swatched the Kali Bible palette. Love this palette, so pretty. And here are some of the shades right here for Kali Bible. How gorgeous is this palette? Like all these shades. Especially this Carly Bible palette, that third shade right there. So pretty. Um, I think I forgot to mention that I'm keeping in this Oma Beauty concealer as well. So yep, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Shop My Stash video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.